What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today we're going to be talking about Lila. We're going to be talking about her kit, best teams you can use her for, different situations. We're also going to compare her to Ginga as well. That way we can see who is the best. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment down below what you guys think, and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more AG content. Also, you can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv, Lucky Lux Gaming. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so we have Lila. Here are her stats with full teched out and level 10 unique equipment. We're sitting with 5470 HP, not the highest, but it's a little okay um, when you have her with six star gear. Uh, speed is 106, not the highest, but it's okay because of her action bar push that she gives herself in her extra turn. Um, her attack is 1576, so it's pretty good um, stat right here. Um, honestly, attack percent will do her justice. Also, a little flat attack is never um, a problem as well. Defense is 782. Um, that's pretty decent for a DPS. That way she can kind of take a hit. Her crit sitting at 24%. I don't have any data linkage, so I don't have her sitting at like 50% without anything extra. Um, but still, 24% is not bad. And then if you get her extra copies, you just get more added on to that. Her crit damage is 160. That's with her um, tech. And then no status accuracy, anything like that. So if you do get the data linkage, you can get up to 18% crit. To where it makes it really nice um, when you're wanting to use her S2 for the extra 50%, which we can go ahead and talk about that because this is kind of what her kit kind of centers around, where it grants all allies the status of crit chance up for three turns, then increase their move bar by 1% for every 3.6% crit chance they have, and then gain a bonus turn for this unit gain one energy storage for every other ally on the battlefield gain a passive effect for every critical hit made by allies increase self move bar by 10 percent and gain one energy storage gain two energy storage if the target's hp is reduced to zero by the attack from this unit right so and we have it maxed out to where it reduces the amount for them to get the extra so what does this say one, it says that you want Lila to go last. You want everybody to be faster than her. Also, you need everybody to crit. So there's a couple of teams that I'm going to show that... Well, actually, no, I'm going to show you a team where it's not the best for her because she needs somebody else to attack, basically. Um, on her S1, she deals damage equal to 120% attack to a single enemy. When you attack, consume all energy. Increase the damage by 5% for every one energy consumed. When you do a critical hit, the crit damage increases by 20%. Uh, and I have this at level 3. Of course, I'm going to get it to level 4 just to... I mean, level 5 to just get extra damage, uh, which would never be a bad thing. Her S3 is where her chance are nuke. Deals damage equal to 237% attack to a single enemy. Consumes all energy and increases the damage by 10.5% for every one energy consumed. When this crits, it does uh, an increase of critical damage by 50%. So it makes it seem like she has extra 50% da uh, crit damage, basically. So if she's sitting at base of 160. This is giving her an extra 50% to where it's like she's having 210, right? Uh, so what does this say for her kit? You want her to get more energy so you want to have allies who are also doing damage so i'll show that here in a bit when we do her teams her tech tech that out extra attack extra crit crit damage we're gonna go ahead and put her on semi-free gear um i say semi-free gear because i do have this one changed out for a fit uh for extra attack 50 percent because she doesn't need the speed um crit damage extra 20 percent on a gold crit 50 this is this is definitely achievable for somebody if you've been farming gear this puts her at 86 percent crit uh 296.6 uh, percent crit damage uh this basically helps her out if her s2 ever falls off but this is not perfect gear for lila honestly you want to have the crit damage set on her that way she can just get more crit damage but it's going to make it seem like her s3 hits for uh 346 so it's okay her um, unique equipment, I have it just sitting at uh, level 10, not at level 20 yet, where you get the extra energy storage. That's where you're going to really start seeing a huge jump in DPS, is where you can get the extra two energy. Uh, it's where, honestly, she'll be hitting, uh, if someone pushes it um, high, she could probably get almost a 200k on some bosses, but we're not quite there yet. Um, and then let's show the teams, right? So... 
We're gonna test it out on stage nine centaur, right? All right, so for most people, they're just gonna think like, yo, I can just swap in Ginga, swap out Ginga for Lila uh, and do a regular centaur team. Um, actually, this really won't work. Uh, you have two people here who are doing non-attack moves, basically, and then you have uh, Chahaya really being the only one who like absolutely has to crit. So honestly, you want somebody who's gonna do like an extra attack whenever they attack and they can guarantee a crit, honestly. So you want to just have like Alice and then you need to have somebody who is faster than Alice who can get two extra attacks because you're needing to get energy stored. So you're looking at like three, this is three um, energy that you get for just having them here. And then you get two extra energy from Shahaya attacking. And then typical cases, you would just do Alice. But you, if you get another person here, you can get two extra attacks because you're going to be leaving literally damage on the table. So who could you use in this slot? You could use Ginga. Use Ginga for support. I know everyone's going to be like, ah, oh, I'm serious. You can find no, like, like, sure. If you really want to, you can use serious. You can use Ginga. Um, Serial, she um, gives herself an action bar push to do an extra turn. Um, you know, depending on the boss, uh, you also have, uh, who am I trying to think of? You have Shinobu who does an extra attack for extra crits. Uh, you have Caroline, you got, um, who else am I thinking about? Korax, that's who it is. You also have uh, Korax as well, who does an extra attack. So anybody who just does two attacks, you can use. So for, for ease, we're probably gonna use um, Ginga. We're gonna do a support Ginga. Yeah, we're gonna do a support Ginga. And so we're gonna have Ginga here. So Ginga, we have her, um, this is just a basic throw on set I used anyways. Uh, we have her with 73% crit, 48% accuracy. Um, hopefully she can hit her S2 crit and also hit her S1. If not, it's okay. Um, I don't have the perfect gear to completely do this. I don't feel like upgrading because we already know we're all broke. Um, Shahaya, um, I do need to add on some gear to just give her um, at least 80% crit. And then Alice, we just have her sitting at 161. But we need these two to be faster than Alice. That way they can get the extra damage for Lila. So just give me a sec. We're going to get it geared out and then we'll be able to do the test. All right, so we're hoping that we can... <laughs> Get a smooth run and crit and everything like that. So we got our first crit. So that's one energy right there. Let's get the defense break. Then we get our second crit. There we go. That's more energy. Now we're going to have Ginga do her support. She did not crit right there. Hopefully she can get the shock stack though. Yep. And she crit on that one. We got another energy. We're going to have Lila to her it up for herself which she doesn't even really need and we get to see this damage so she did a hundred K on Centaur who is a very tanky boss and she pushed herself up got an extra so we get to see her damage at the end so yeah, so I think Ginga might finish this off. She hasn't, I don't have the best gear on her. Nope, actually she won't. All right, so we get to see, Jesus guys, calm down, Centaur's dead. All right, so this is Centaur stage nine. So, you know, he is very tanky, but we get to see. So Lila pulled off 127,000 damage um ginga still did 33 with crap gear so 127 so we didn't get that crit off of ginga so it would have been probably around like uh like 130 or so so unfortunate but now we're gonna test ginga and see how high we can get with a very similar team all right so we're gonna do the same thing for ginga i left lila on here um as a support as well to make it fair that way someone in the comment section doesn't feel like I'm doing something unfair to their 
waifu ginga but i put ginga on the exact same set i went ahead and maxed out her s2 to make it fair now they're sitting at the same skills um her s2 um is gonna we're gonna have her open up she has 48 percent status accuracy so hopefully she hits it i don't want to add any more because again i'm doing the same set um 74 crit we're having lila to help us with that and that way no one says anything 286% crit damage. The only reason why I didn't want to use Lila is because Lila can still hit really, really hard, but it's okay. I lowered her damage as much as I could. Um, I have her at um, pretty much 93% crit because of her S2, her 190 crit damage, only two, uh, 2600 attack. She's at 175 speed, that way she can give crit up to everybody to highest. Uh, now able to sit at 86% crit because we don't need to put the crit gear on Lila. So we're able to have a Chihaya run with the 86 percent crit is at 41 percent status accuracy the status accuracy and everything's low it's just i really need to get the speed and i don't have the best speed here so just excuse me for this test really it's honestly just showing the damage for ginga so anyways let's go ahead and get this let's go ahead and get this going and this is gonna go exactly the same almost maybe all right so we got the crit up everybody got pushed up so lila is not doing any damage which is perfect that's what i needed shahaya is gonna get her damage she can now get the guaranteed crits with lila's support so yeah she hit everything there perfect she got resisted which is terrible Ginga, she can now crit. We just need her to hit the status accuracy. Good old 34,000 right there. 24,000. Honestly, I think Ginga is going to absolutely rock this out. 83,000. Yeah. Ginga kind of rocked that one right there. Like on her own. Oh, if Alice would have attacked, the boss would have died right there. But it's all good. It's all good. So we had 120. Uh, we had like about like what 130 with Lila, and that was with the miss of Ginga. Ginga kind of uh, whiffing the damage showcase, right? All right. It it's funny how it was Ginga who whiffed it, but Ginga did 141. So. Um, and Ginga is a good nuker. But what does this but what does this mean? Like, right? Does that mean that Ginga is absolutely better than Lila and you can't replace her? No. No, 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 no. Because like when you're looking at a solid run, here's the thing. When I have Lila in the DPS slot, I can absolutely add another DPS here because I want Lila to do most of her damage. Because Lila doesn't need any statuses. So she's able to do a lot of damage, but then also she can make your boss runs better because you want more attackers. You don't need people who just do only statuses. So like you're you're doing this with just Alice and then you have Shahaya to give the defense break and she's attacking twice. Then you want another person who's attacking twice. So you can get a lot of damage before Lala comes off at nukes. When you have it set up this way, Ginga is really needing people to put debuffs up. And you could say that I did it unfair and I should have done like serial and all that because then I could have got even more damage on Ginga. But like we already know that Ginga is really insane. The only thing is, is that Lila can give you a little bit more consistent run because all you're asking for your people to do is crit. If you have a DPS, you're already going to have them with really high crit rate anyways. With Ginga, you're asking for them to hit all of their statuses and you're also asking Ginga to hit her status and for her to crit as well. So that's all I'm saying. Like running Lila as a support just helped guarantee that these two crit. And then with the 40% status accuracy, we got really lucky. Um, but like, you know, Chahaya missed her defense, but it's okay, Ginga didn't really need it. But like, yeah, if we would have had um, Serial here, which I just got Serial literally yesterday. But like, if I would have had Serial here, she would have had the burn and she would have made it um, a lot. She would have given a lot more damage to Ginga right, to where Ginga would have hit like the 100k and probably would have done 150, 160, but it's fine. It's just showing that Lila, though, for that 
for giving all of Ginga that damage, Lila can give your full team all of that as well. So pros and cons of Lila. Pros is that um, she gives you the ability to not have to gear her super crazy, right? Like if you're thinking of like, you know, like Grace, Grace is a 50% on her S2. That's basically what Lila gives. She gives you 50% extra. And so you don't need to build a lot of crit on her. You just want to focus really crit damage and attack. Um, you don't need her to be fast if you have an Alice. Now, if you don't have an Alice, you do want her to be a little bit speedy. So you want to have some speed stats in there. But since you're not getting a lot much crit stats, you can absolutely do that, right? So where if you don't have an Alice, you can put some speed in her kit to where she's also fast. But you want to make sure that she's going last, right? That way um, you can get some more damage. One of the cons, again, is that is that you have to um, make sure that your other characters are sitting um, at a higher crit rate um, because you can't use the S2 to give them more crit, to give Lila the extra energy. Um, you would only have your second ultimate be really, really strong right after that. So after she ults, then everybody's ult afterwards like in their damage that they do would make Lila's second um, ult hit really hard because then everybody is attacking, right? But then if she does her S1, then that completely just ruins your um, the extra damage that she kind of wanted to get. So pretty much the way that I have it set up is to where she does her um, S2, S3, and then she ends up coming right back and doing her S1 with her extra damage. And then she'll just do another S1 to finish off. Um, with her versus Ginga, Ginga does do a lot of damage just with the debuffs. But let's just say you ever come across a situation where Ginga can't really debuff, or you're missing all your debuffs, you don't have any status accuracy, then Lila's a good, you know, swap in for you. And I'm just like, in comparing the two, they both have their usages. It's just that with Ginga, it's just really hard to get um, some of that consistency because you just get straight out resisted. With Lila, you're only wanting a defense break and then crit rate. You can control crit rate, but you can't control the resistance that happens at the 13%. So that's my only thing. But all in all, Lila is a really, really strong character. And I think she just allows you to get more damage on your other characters since she's giving them um, almost darn near 100% crit rate if you don't have that already on them. Uh, so you can just gear your team around her a lot better, putting crit damage. On a lot of your people, you can give Shahaya a lot more damage, um, you know, adding some crit damage maybe. And then you can get that other DPS in that team and they can be built out with crit damage as well. So, so I'm gonna say, but anyways, guys, um, if you have anything to comment down below, I know the test is a little wonky, but just, you know, let me know. Uh, Cause you know, there's just, it's really hard to, without having the perfect gear and without having the perfect character, it's really hard to test. Just comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more AG content. And please like this video if you did enjoy it. Also, remember, you can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv, Lucky Lux Gaming. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.